The controls feel tight. It looks beautiful. I think they've done a bang up job with Black Ops 6. Let's talk about Call of Duty Black Ops 6, which is developed by Treyarch and Raven Software. I think it's Treyarch that handles a lot of the campaign stuff. I don't know. I don't know how they divvy up all of this work. These games are so bloody massive. And I know that this game has been toiled on for a number of years, and it shows. I've only played the campaign. I haven't jumped into multiplayer. I haven't jumped into zombies, so there's not a full review of the whole experience. But the campaign is crazy fun. But what I'm really digging about the campaign is how it feels like, you know, a classic awesome spy shooter. I've been thinking a lot about GoldenEye recently, especially as I've been playing this game. Not so much the minutia of the play of GoldenEye, but the way it made you feel as you were playing. The creeping and the sneaking and the stealthiness and the objectives that you had to hit. And I'm feeling a lot of those same emotions as I'm playing through Black Ops 6. I really feel like a sneaky, stealthy spy. In the campaign, you are kind of isolated from the government. You've got this rogue outfit that's kind of trying to do the right thing, and you've got all of these different missions that you go on. It's set at the end of the 80s, early 90s, so you're going to run into a Bill Clinton campaign fundraiser. You're going to be sneaking into casinos. You're going to be in the deserts in Iraq and storming Saddam Hussein's palace, which is crazy. There's a big, huge open area sequence in the desert where you're going from objective to objective. As you can probably imagine, these are some of the most gorgeous visuals you're going to see in a shooter in 2024. I've been playing it on the Xbox Series X in the last last several years I've been playing Call of Duty games on the PlayStation and I've just been having a great time on the Xbox. That's the way I used to play it, I think in the Xbox 360 era, so it kind of feels a little bit like a homecoming, but the controls are amazing and the Xbox and Black Ops team sent me this really cool brand new Xbox controller to enjoy this game, to celebrate this game. And it feels incredible in my hands and the tuning and controls for the combat in this title are terrific. The storytelling's pretty damn good, the voice acting's pretty damn good. Yuri Lowenthal pops up in a surprise appearance in the game, which I thought was pretty cool. It's a little bit of a different performance than we've seen from Yuri in other more recent games. And I I've just been digging the stealthiness and I, there's sequences where you're bouncing between a bunch of different characters and there, there's basically data that's being handed off between them and you're trying not to get caught and if you do you have to act quickly before all hell breaks loose and the alarms go off and everybody's chasing after you and certainly there are big huge epic battlefield moments as well where there's just unbelievable carnage and explosions in one sequence you're driving a tank and you're just blasting away at everything you know the deal you're bouncing from mechanized warfare to on the ground stealthy stuff you're sneaking underwater into installations and it's hella fun and it's really addictive and the controls feel tight it looks beautiful i think they've done a bang up job with black ops 6 and honestly it's an incredible commercial for Xbox Game Pass because that's you can just download the game if you're a Game Pass subscriber and start playing it on your Xbox, your PC, which is pretty damn rad and a pretty good value for the Game Pass subscribers out there. I can't wait to dig into the zombie stuff and into the multiplayer stuff and I'll come back with thoughts on that. The only challenge that I have with these campaigns with Call of Duty is that they've gone everywhere. We've seen every scale. There's a lot of familiar. There are also lots of moments in the Black Ops 6 campaign which evoke some really big titles titles out there. I'm talking Metal Gear Solid and Prey and Control. You know, you, you're seeing some stuff that you have seen in other things because they always get a little bit psychological with the Black Ops games. There's a lot of puzzle solving and trickiness and slipperiness. You know, things aren't always as they seem in these Black Ops games, but that's kind of what makes them fun. That's why they're so freaking addictive. And this one absolutely is. I'm going to give the Black Ops 6 campaign an 8.5 out of 10.